Venom The Last Dance. We got to see it. And uh, we wanted to give our point of view frustrated. I don't know what you thought. Yeah. Can I get a refund? Like, who do I call to get a refund? Yeah. Like, like, who do I get in contact with to get my money back? We had our criticisms about the second one and the Let There Be Carnage. And you definitely have your criticism of Let There Be Carnage. Back to your point, but you see the exact same thing, but just a notch more. It was, it was, it was cringy, bro. So I can't believe they made Venom cringy. Like it was just certain scenes that I just would have not done. I, I, I can't believe they did that to Venom Last Dance. It's supposed to be the last dance. Yeah. And the, and the pimpiest thing in that movie was the King in Black. Yeah, no. They didn't do nothing. He sat on a chair. It was very, very frustrating. It was very frustrating to watch because I never believed that they will ever make Venom that cringy. I, I want to give two spoilers and too much of the movie. You feel me? Express your take. And if it's good enough to be recommended to buy and go see it in the theater, oh, no. or oh, no. just recommend it, just not nah, wait. I recommend to that you wait till, you, till it comes home and you watch it in your home. Okay. It is not worth to go to the theaters to watch. Like if you're a little kid and you want to take your kid to watch it, then feel free. You feel me? Because little kids is gonna love this. But grown men that grew up on the on the animated series and the comics and know how Venom really is, that is no Venom. Is is not. I'm sorry. It doesn't make sense. Like the the movie to me from Let There Be Carnage and this one is like it's the same thing. They go the com comedic route. They, they they stretch it too much to the point where it's like too much is too much like some interactions with with eddie and venom are funny you know when they're like arguing about something or he's talking about whose heads he could swallow mm -hmm. and and chop down but when it comes to venom doing other stuff that you know we'll get to the point on that but uh, doing other stuff that's just too cringy too comedy too campy like i think they went too far like this character deserves a better story and he has mm -hmm. great stories in the comics you know and venom is supposed to be a vicious character until he becomes an anti-hero so it's like like i don't know like you want to go the route of eddie brock portraying like a loser or he's like in this loser phase and the only thing that has him going is the venom thing and this is not just so much of a spoiler, but I'll just say is like only for a year. So like you're watching it only for a year. He's been Venom. Everything mm -hmm. has happened only for a year. Mm -hmm. So it's like they really cheaped out on the potential that he could have been. Yeah. So it's crazy because if you think about it, there's three movies in a, in a span of his year of being in Venom. So it's like, bro, you literally gave me three movies of one year of him being venom yeah and then it's like i understand that y'all want to make a new eddie brock but why make him a loser and and all tight you know what I'm saying like he was already a loser in the other in the other universe like i i don't know i think they could have done better with, but the with loser that he was it, it was derived on like he had this hate for for peter so it was like that's what really ignited like his hatred for peter mm -hmm. and then finding out that peter is spider-man like like he just went on psycho mode the only th one more crazier than that you already know is carnage because mm -hmm. he was a serial killer yeah. but when it comes to the venom character like, it went a complete different route a different kind of atmosphere a different kind of feel and you know the movie has some goods to it but it's a lot of bads and one main good is like the little clips that little snippets they give us of of no like i'm liking i'm liking the tone it gives me like that dark villain fantasy back in the day and and his and his the protagonist is somebody with a sword and stuff and you know something throwback yeah. it's the way he looked he just looks like a an official threat and uh, you got uh, venom campy bro i don't know and another thing is the power scaling in the movie was retarded like power scaling in the movie was atrocious 
Yeah. Like, yeah. Like the power scaling was like did not make no sense. Exactly. You got this character talking about power scaling, but you got this character that not to say too much, but I'll just say I'm disappointed. And, and it's <laughs> like again, why am I surprised? I'm not surprised. It just you expect it, but it's like the potential of the character and, and just disappointed of what they did with this character of Toxin. Bro, it was so crazy. I don't even think they called them Toxin. I don't even think they used no names for the symbiotes. I think they did, but it's like we were so like Nah, off. I didn't we, I didn't hear no attention as much. I didn't I didn't bro, they called they called the Venom suit the black one. They didn't call no symbiotes by no names. They didn't want to use no names. I don't know what was wrong with them. That's Sony for you. Yeah, Sony Sony needs to stop their type of uh, universe and, and I don't know, hire someone else to like, uh, you know, really run it and do it the right way because it's just like, it's just ridiculous. Like <laughs> in this movie too, you got this family that they add in there that we basically don't know the purpose and you see a lot of people this is not a spoiler thing but you see the actor that played dr connors the lizard and in this one we're thinking he's gonna be something but it's like you wonder why add this family into the mix of the whole when they didn't have to <laughs> i don't know what they was it was like they was looking for a way to put family values in the movie yeah like yeah. message yeah like for no reason someone some way to, to humanize uh humanize Eddie. more eddie brock and venom mm -hmm. or humanize venom or i don't know or some kind of way to throw in another campy cheesy funny comedic a uh, moment you know so. to me it was just a cheap way to give eddie something to care about at the end that was all it was Cause that's yeah. he didn't really have no real relations with nobody in this movie so it was that was the only you know what i'm saying so it was like yep that was a cheap way but we didn't really need it exactly we did it and like the same thing with uh beetlejuice remember mm -hmm. like not to, mm -hmm. to to go off topic beetlejuice had the same kind of thing they had characters that didn't need to be there it wasn't mm -hmm. necessary you know and like this for example what you thought of this how they just really went as far as venom dancing and doing all types of extra just like out of, out of character shit. bro all i can say is cringy as hell that's all i can say yeah it's, it's like like i said kids would love this but me i'm not with him it was cringy i don't want to see venom dancing around it was a waste of time like then another thing is it, he spent most of the time running so it was like he really didn't even fight nobody really that pimpy yeah he did if you he did it he ran through the whole movie that's why i said people it, it is a must watch at home they don't really show Venom's power or at least strength or something as much in this movie. Nah, he, he got to hide through that. Through the whole movie, he got to hide. So overall, what you say about the Venom? I give it a four. Four, I right? It, I give it a four. King in Black was the best thing there. The King yeah. in Black. Other than that, if it didn't have the King in Black, that movie would have been trash. So you give it a what? A four out of five? No. I give it a four out of ten. If you want to give it out of five, I'm gonna give it a one. Okay. Nah, I'm bugging. I'm gonna give it a two. Yeah, I mean it had some good parts, but the movie again, what messes it up for me is the campiness. So I'll mm -hmm. give it a two as well, maybe two and a half, but for the null parts. Nah, you know? I I, I would have gave it a two and a half, but that dancing, it gets a two. Yeah. It gets a definite two. No gives it a point. Venom gives it a point. Eddie lost points for letting him dance. So that's it. You get a two. Yeah. All right, folks. You let us know in the comments section below when you get to see it. If you're going to go see it, you let us know what you think of Venom, The Last Dance.